Hello. Oh, I have a cool topic today. And just note, there's a lot of you out there who might know a lot more about this, but <laughs> I, um, well, I mean, I definitely talk a lot about how you get to choose your life. And because I believe that truly and fully, I think you decide and you choose and you make those decisions. You make, um, you take actions, you change your habits, you look at the identity you're living in. So all this stuff I've been working on for a long time. So also, it's not a quick thing. It takes time. But I'm also listening to this really cool book on, on Audible. I didn't buy it. I wanted to see what it was before I bought the book, but I think I want to buy the book. It's called Parallel Universes of Self. So cool. Um, Frederick E. Dodson. That's who it's by. Um, but I... have Anyways, I just was thinking about this today because, of course, you know, when we focus on one thing, when we hear something, we're like, ooh, that grabs my attention. I love this. I want to learn more. Everything about that starts to come in your life. You know, you, of course, especially because of the algorithms when I Google things, right? Uh, but we learn more about it. We hear more about it. It starts to be like everybody's talking about it. Um, and so I wanted to come in here and just talk about it because, and also it is such a empowering thing. We really do control, we, we have the ability to control, to, to design, to live in, to do what, like build our reality because we do already. Um, and, you know, with manifesting, we manifest bad things and good things. We manifest all the time. <laughs> all the energy we're putting out there, the words we're using, the thoughts that we're thinking, the beliefs we have, um, all of that, the frequency that we are on and all of that creates what's created, what's outside of us. Like universe is you inverse, right? It's what's ever on the inside of you is coming out and displayed on the outside. And I know a lot of people have a really hard time with this. But anyways, I'm just going to read you a little bit of summary of this book, universe, Parallel Universes of Self, just a little blurb. It says the purpose of this book is to bring the parallel world's theory as known to physics, so it is science, you can look it up, and science fiction, so of course they've talked a lot about this in science fiction shows, um, into application in your personal reality and everyday life. You can create your reality by becoming the parallel world version of yourself for whom the experience you want is already real. That sums it up. End of video. No. <laughs> So I'm going to read it again because it's so cool, okay? This purpose of this book is to bring the parallel world's theory as known to physics and science fiction into application in your personal reality and everyday life. Um, you can create your reality by becoming, becoming, stepping into the frequency, the parallel universe world version of yourself where you already have that, where you are already having that experience where you've already won that, where you already are married and have kids, whatever, right? We get, so it's like, um, I don't know if you saw Ant-Man. Literally, the reason I went to Ant-Man, that movie, although I do love the main character as an actor, love him. Ant-Man, crazy movie, but um, it showed infinite possibilities. Like it showed that him at this one point in the movie, it showed that theory about, each choice you make splits you off into a different parallel alternative reality, universe, whatever, life. Uh, so, you know, like you'll be driving to work and one day and you'll decide to take a different route. And there's that person, that reality that takes that different work, route. There's also a person who just went straight and went your old route. So it's like we we're constantly splitting off. So everything's happening at the same time, past, present, future, all realities. So it's really hard to wrap your head around it. But, um, in, you know, the way we kind of do it is the way we kind of think about it or the way I think about it is if I'm feeling really down in a low frequency and a low vibe, feeling shame, frustration, anger, all of that, as we know, because we're so aware of the talk around the law of attraction, right? We att tend to attract more of that to us when you're on that frequency. Bob Proctor talks about it as like lines of frequency that go up like this. So a lower level um, mood, all of that belief system is keeping you down at this lower frequency, right? So you experience other things at this lower frequency that because they are there, they live there. That's their reality. When you like move up 
the inner you, the outer, everything's like, oh my God, life is wonderful. I feel amazing. I'm choosing, I'm choosing to create a wonderful life for myself. I'm, you know, like being real, oh, hi, Jesse, being real conscious of what we're thinking, what we're doing, what we're believing, you know, is that kind of that inner work of I'm, I'm going to choose something different. I'm going to decide. I'm going to step into the new me. I know what that looks like. I'm feeling what that person would feel like. So I'm going to be that new image of me, whatever, right? Then we bring ourselves up to another frequency where now we are level with other beings, things, situations, opportunities, possibilities that are in kind of that same level or frequency. So Bob Proctor shows it in a, um, in a diagram where it's like levels. So however you want to think about it, right? For me, I kind of think of it like that because I'm very visual. But I know like when I'm feeling a certain way. Now, it's not to say you don't want to feel feelings. You want to feel. Feelings are meant to be moved and felt. So you feel them. Oh, that's tough. I'm feeling anger. I'm feeling sadness. What is it about? What is it needs to be expressed? What do I need to say? How do I need to feel? Do I need to cry it out? Move your body. All of that stuff. Not going into that. Because no emotion is bad. But we're not meant to sit in an emotion. We're not meant to sit and focus on it and fear it and try to run away from it and talk about it and get other people upset. So that's all what I'm talking. That's all what I'm talking about. So we want to be most of the time you want to be like, OK, well, I'm choosing to create my life today. How do I want to feel today? How would I like my like my life to go today? What types of people do I want to surround myself with? What type of people would I love to have some great conversations with? Um, who would I love to meet today? What would I love to do? What would bring me joy? So these questions we can work on in the morning, right? You decide, right? It's like today is going to be an incredible day. Today is going to be an awesome day. I'm choosing that I'm going to enjoy all of today. Now, no matter what happens in your reality, you can choose to enjoy it by not focusing on like all of a sudden, right? Something happens. There's an accident ahead of you. You're late for work. And then you start blaming the world and you go in a lower frequency, right? You don't have to do that. You can feel anger for the moments and go, oh my God, I'm so angry. This, ah, oof. Okay. Let that go. Let that go. Right. This is not serving me. I'm not choosing to stay in this lower anger state. So I'm going to release it, not just shove it down. I'm going to release it, breathe through it. It's not real. It's not mine. I'm letting it go, right? And then the focus goes back again to what you are desiring, right? Ah, I hope that person in that accident is safe. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's good. I send them love and light. And then on you go, right? My day is going to be amazing. So it's not like everything's going to be magic around you. <laughs> It's that you're choosing each step, each moment, every moment of the day and all of that, how you react, respond and how you feel about it, how you interpret it, interpret it. Right. Um, so we interpret things. So someone may say something to you and you take it in a totally different way that makes you feel terrible and you get mad. They may not have meant it like that. Right. So those are some things to remember. It's like, oh, right. OK, I got to release my attachment to what others say, feel, do, because that's them. They could be angry today. They could be hurting today. They could thank you. <laughs> so that's another way we create our state of being is because we choose it every single second moment of the day. So it's truly about living consciously. Right. Like I'm choosing to live in conscious awareness. Oh my God, how do I want to respond to this? And it takes practice. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It takes so much practice. <laughs> because we are so set up to respond and to react. And it's a reflex. Like I used to have bad anger problems growing up. And I used to react really fast, really angry. And people would laugh and go, oh, just count. What works for me is count to 10. I'm like, I can't even count. The word is out. The message is out. I've already said all I wanted to say. I've already screamed. It's gone. There is not even a millisecond to think about counting to 10, right? Like, blah, my body just reacts. I'm just somebody who doesn't hold. I like to just release things. So, you know, that's the way I've been. Um, 
but from I, you know, I learned now it's from a like lower emotional state. So, you know, you choose, right? So I, I tend to release things differently now, <laughs> release anger differently now. <laughs> But we get to, so it's just a practice. It's like, oh, there I went again. I got, I said those things. I didn't want to react like that, but that's just me reacting from my old person. That's who I was. I've done it for years. It's all hardwired in my brain, my body. It's all a whole thing, chemical thing. It's like bang, bang. And my body goes into this. I say that. I get hot. My cheeks turn red. Everything happens at the same time, right? So we can't, but then you have the awareness of like, oh, wow, I did that. Interesting. Huh. Right? So afterwards, don't hold on to the anger or the frustration. Don't blame or guilt or shame yourself because that's like, it's not going to help you, right? So that's what it means about these, our boss. So we have all these various reactions and various things we, we choose to do during the day or choose not to do. And they determine our next second, our next moment, our next hour our next day, right? So the parallel universe um, idea is just that every choice we make, every thought we think creates, puts us on a different, slightly different path or whatever. And so to be consciously aware of, oh, I'm choosing, I'm choosing to be, okay, today, yes, that angered me and I could stay in that. But I said, like, I kind of think about turning away. I'm, I'm going this direction. This is the direction I'm choosing to go. I'm choosing to stay in love and light. I'm choosing to stay in positive energy. I'm choosing to enjoy this day. I'm choosing to find joy anywhere. I'm choosing to look at the joy. Um, so when you go for a walk, you can choose to look for beautiful, wonderful things instead of going for a walk and over and playing over and over again what hasn't gone right. So that's kind of the idea. It's just we have so much more control than anybody thinks. And by you choosing to know you have that control, to know you have that power, that's empowerment, right? It's like knowing I can be the leader in my life. I can choose this. I have the power. I can be an empowered individual. That's so freeing and that's so empowering. Wouldn't you rather feel like that than feeling it's helpless, it's hopeless, the world is shit, people are not treating me good, I never get what I want. All of those things, right? It's time for the, the world wants to, like the whole universe and everything is opening up and changing and evolving. It's time that we do too. The best thing you can do to contribute to world peace, world happiness is to start with yourself positively 100%. You be the change. You start the change within you. Okay, that's my message today. And I know this is hard to do yourself. And I that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to start a group, a three-month group. And that's going to help guide, support, accountability. It's about health, wellness, um, conscious living, conscious eating, all of that stuff to guide you through the December, January, and February into the new year so that you practice these tools, techniques, um, ways of being, states of being, you will see your mood will improve greatly. You will have more energy. You won't be sucked back into where you deplete your energy. And of course, we're talking about healthy eating, moving, all of that type of stuff too. It's really about you, women 50 plus, choosing what type of life they want to live and experience for this next phase of life. Because you can. And reach out to me if you want more information. I'm working on the page for it. So much stuff to you. Feel free to share this if you feel anybody would like the message. All right. Lots of love. Bye.